Welcome back. A very good morning to you. If you're just joining us, let's bring you this story. The Health Professions Council of South Africa says it's concerned by the increasing number of bogus practitioners. Several such people were arrested in Johannesburg this week. For more on this, we're joined in studio by Dr. Raymond Biller. He's from the HPCSA. Dr. Biller, thank you very much for making the time to talk to us so early in the morning. How rife is this problem? Well, we have been hearing of reports of doctors who are not registered. It's not quite a number of them. We've had some arrests this past week, as we've issued in our statement. And um, from time to time, we get one or two uh, per week that we hear about in various parts of the country. And recently, in Tembisa, we had about two of them mm. that were uh, not registered with the council. The idea is that every year, uh, practitioners, whether doctors or dentists or physiotherapists, uh, dietitians who are registered with the Health Professions Council have to renew their um, uh, registrations. Um, and this happens at least by the 1st of April. And if you practice without being registered, it's a criminal offense. And so we try to encourage all practitioners that they need to ensure that they keep their registrations up to date. Mm -hmm. Because if they're registered with us, then we have uh, jurisdiction over them and once they're not registered with us we have no jurisdiction and there is no way we can protect the public because we need to know to know who is practicing and whether they are fully registered with the HPCSA and they have the correct qualifications in most of these cases where bogus practitioners are caught what in the main are they what kind of services are they providing to the unsuspecting uh, patients well, in, in, in this case, in the instance of the last two weeks or so, is that um, you find that there are registered practitioners with, with HPCSA. And then they employ what we call a locum. That's a doctor who comes in or a practitioner who comes in to work in the practice or the office of the registered practitioner whilst he has either errands to attend to, maybe he's got a family engagement. And so they ask them to come and work for them for a day or two sometimes for a period of two weeks or, or three. And what they fail to do is to ensure that whoever they request to come in and uh, offer a service as a, as a fully fledged medical uh, practitioner or health professional, is that they should ensure that these people are uh, registered. In the instance that we've reported about and we showed our concern, is that these are foreign uh, qualified or foreign practitioners or foreign individuals. We have no records of their registration within our records at the HPCSA and we are concerned that the unsuspecting public is exposed to people who are not fully registered or even properly uh, qualified and we need to know that and we as, as we say that our, our, our mandate is to protect the public and also to guide the professions. About uh, two weeks ago we, we had a stakeholder engagement and we, we met all uh, practitioners from various parts of the country from all disciplines within the medical and dental board. And we raised this issue that you know, there are some practitioners who are not registered today. As the Health Professions Council, uh, beyond just saying the public needs to be alert, what kind of um, questions should members of the public be asking for? And what is it that you can do from your end, uh, of course, working in tandem with uh, law enforcement authorities to try and curb this? Because it's quite dangerous. Well. We expect the practitioners in their offices to display a registration certificate to indicate their name, their qualification, and to, ind to indicate where, whether they are registered with the HPCSA or not. Each registered practitioner has a registration number. In the case of medical practitioners, they've got an MP number, or you know, that, that would indicate, from, like myself, I've got my own MP, and it would show that this is my certificate, in the past, uh, which, which sometimes happens even now, mm -hmm. you do have a cut that shows. So the, the public can request to see this uh, certificate or uh, proof of uh, registration. And if they don't have, they will have to alert us. Secondly, people can go into, the, into our website, you know, mm -hmm. into our uh, portal. And if you know Gambi, uh, call him, uh, and you know his name, mm -hmm. you just put in his name and it will pull up his d uh, details and it will indicate whether it's registered or not. Uh, so I think this is what we, we encourage the public to do. But we also want to ask the practitioners, number one is that they themselves must be registered 
and secondly that they must not employ people who are not registered with the health professions council there we thank you very much for your time dr raymond biller he is with the health professions council of south africa thanks indeed for making the time to talk to us Let's